Hi everyone. Well, strawberries are the fruit that my family eats the most of. I'm actually spending about $40 a month on those big bags of frozen fruit at Costco for our smoothies. And I thought, why not grow them myself? But if I grew all that my family eats, it would definitely take up most of this garden bed behind me. And since I really want to have the space for other things, I decided to look around for a way to save space while growing strawberries and grow them vertically. So I actually ran across um, a channel called Organics Best Urban Gardening, where he is doing some fantastic things with milk crate strawberry towers. Go check out his channel. You're gonna love what he's doing over there. Really doing some amazing stuff. But I liked his idea so much that he, I decided to try and do it myself. It's a quick, simple, and inexpensive way to grow strawberries vertically. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's basically what a strawberry crate tower is. It's crates that are stacked on top of each other. These all interlock and fit together. We're going to line it with landscape fabric, fill it with soil, cut holes in the landscape fabric right here and tuck strawberries in all the way around and on top. So we'll have a very nice cascading effect of strawberries once it grows in. Super quick, super easy. The holes are already there for you to plant the strawberries into. Super inexpensive. We're going to build it for under $20. So let me just tell you what you're going to need to get started. You're going to need crates of some type. Now some of you may have access to free milk crate crates. I did not. So I purchased these on Amazon. I got, they were about $4 a piece. And you're going to need some landscape fabric. Just got a roll of this. It's um, three foot landscape fabric by about 50 foot long. You're going to need a tape measure, some scissors, some masking tape of some type, some small rocks, a bunch of small rocks, a handful of small rocks, some garden soil of some type. I'm just using pre-bagged potting mix, but you can use garden soil mixed with compost, whatever you have available to you. And today I'm gonna to be planting some bare root strawberries. And these look absolutely fantastic. There's already some green growth on them. It's really hard though, guys, to find bare root strawberries this time of year. So just go ahead and purchase some plant starts at your local garden center and that'll work just fine. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, the beauty of the strawberry crate tower is you can go as high as you want or as low as you want because these crates are stacking and interlockable. For my purposes, since I'm building on the stone wall, I'm going to go three crates high, which is perfect. If you're building on a deck, you might want to go five crates high. So what we're going to do first is I've cut this, the weed block fabric, into strips and I cut them into strips about as wide as my crate. So you want to do that to match whatever crates you're using. And we're just going to line the crates with the fabric to, and then fill it with soil and then plant the strawberries on top and in the little holes cascading over the side. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get the bottom crate built and I'll show you what that's going to look like. First step, line the crate, the bottom crate with landscape fabric. I'm going to need two strips of my landscape fabric for each crate. So I've cut six strips. So just lay it over the top. It wants to blow around, so I'll show you a little trick to deal with that in just a minute. You want to fold it down on the inside here. And I'm actually going to put four little rocks in each corner to hold the landscape fabric down. And because it wants to blow around in the wind, I've got a little piece of masking tape here that I'm just going to tape down the sides with so it doesn't blow over on itself. And we'll tape the other side down. I'm going to take my other piece of landscape fabric and lay it the opposite direction because we want to line every side with landscape fabric so the soil doesn't spill through. And we're just going to do the same thing as put the little rocks in the corners. Tape the side so it doesn't blow in on itself. And the reason why we're putting those rocks in the corners is because we want the landscape fabric snug up against the corners so the soil fits in there really nicely. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to fill it with soil. Well, the next step is to fill your milk crate with soil. I've got some really good quality potting soil here. Use whatever you have on hand. Just super easy. I'm going to fill it up about halfway. And then I'm going to mix in some tomato fertilizer. And that's one thing I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. You're going to need some tomato fertilizer. Now, according to Organics Best Urban Gardening, the strawberries love just your basic tomato fertilizer. So I'm going to fill it halfway up. Mix in a handful or so. Kind of get a good mix in there in the soil. Then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up. 
and put some more fertilizer on the top. So simple guys, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and build my three strawberry crates and I'm going to come back and show you what the strawberry tower looks like. I've got my crates lined with landscape fabric and filled with soil. Now it's time to go ahead and get them stacked and form my strawberry tower. I left this masking tape on because otherwise if you, if you take it off, the landscape fabric just kind of flops all over when you're trying to get them stacked. Okay, here's my top, top tier. These just set right down into each other. There we go guys, strawberry tower. All we have left to do now is plant the strawberries. That's the best part. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm planting bare root strawberries and these are actually from Johnny Seeds and I happen to know they're all out of stock. So just go ahead and buy some strawberry starts from your garden center if you can't find bare root strawberries this time of year. So super easy to get these planted. You wanna plant these, the roots down obviously, um, pointing straight down and the crown needs to be at soil level. So, so easy guys. I'm just gonna dig a hole here in the top and because it's nice and loose soil, it's gonna be really easy to dig a hole. And I'm gonna plant these kind of pointed out so they're kind of spilling over the side as they grow. These already have some great green growth on them. So I have every confidence that they're gonna be absolutely beautiful and we're gonna see growth very, very soon. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is plant four in the top. And here we go, we got two planted in the top at this point, but I wanna show you how to plant in the sides here. Okay, when you're planting bare root strawberries, it's actually easier to unstack the tower to plant the second level. And that's the beauty of this, is you can just pull it off and set it aside. So, super easy. I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut a hole here in the fabric. Just slice a little hole in two sections. And the whole idea is obviously that they're just gonna spill over the side, be really pretty, and also keep them up off the ground away from bugs. So because these roots are so long, it's just kind of easier to dig down in here. If you're planting regular strawberry plant starts, you probably don't need to unstack them. But for my purposes here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can dig a hole and pull these roots through. And we're gonna, again, let them spill over the side, sticking out just a little bit, and then I can compact the soil down around the roots. There we go, doesn't that look nice? Grab another one. Same thing here. And we're gonna go ahead and do this all around the sides of the container. You can just kind of pick and choose where you want to plant them. It doesn't really matter. You can do like a random pattern. You can do a nice even pattern across each side. Whatever you wanna do, totally up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this planted out all around the sides here and we'll come back to wrap it up. Okay guys, I've got my second level planted. I planted two on each side all the way around. Now I'm just gonna trim off my extra landscape fabric. And wow, I cannot wait to see these strawberries grow and just spill over the side. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful, filled with red strawberries. And guys, if you wanna see one that's completely filled in and looking beautiful, you gotta get over and check out Organic's Best Urban Gardening. His look fabulous. He's picking some wonderful berries off them. Thank you again so much for giving me this idea. And just to see one that I built a, about a week ago, guys, it's getting great growth already from these bare root strawberries. Look at these, already popping out. This is new growth and these are just looking beautiful. I'm super, super excited. So hey, if you guys are gonna give this a try, let me know, pop a comment down below, or post a picture over on my First Garden G Plus community. I'll put a link in the um, description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Super excited. This was a quick, simple, and easy project. Cost under $20 to build. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Forgot to tell you guys, don't forget to water. The beauty of it is the water will flow all the way down to the second level. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take me out, camera guy.